Coming up on this week's news, people should know. An interview with author and minister Kenneth Drummond and his new book, Protector at All Costs. Welcome, I am Jolay Nance, and today we're going to speak with author and minister Kenneth Drummond and talk about his new book, Protector at All Costs. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, um, I am a father, I'm a husband, uh, uncle, child of God, mm -hmm. and um, that's pretty much, pretty much it in a nutshell. Okay, well, can you tell us what events helped to inspire you in writing your book, Protector at All Costs? Well, I'll tell you, um, there was a question asked to me a while back by my wife. Mm -hmm. And she asked me, she said, Ken, why does it always seem like women are always going through? Um, we're always being attacked. And we're just always fighting a battle, whether it's spiritual or physical. Um, and in that moment, in that time when she told me that, that, that made me uh, just begin to do research and pray and talk to God, and God started revealing things to me. Right. Yeah. So the title, Protector at All Costs, what was the inspiration behind that? The real inspiration to protect her at all costs um, was that I began to see so many um, young ladies, uh, young men, and also older, sometimes they would disrespect a woman or call her out by name. And the woman is one of the most valuable beings on this planet. Mm -hmm. Life actually comes from this woman, this, this valuable woman who has to be protected and valued. Right. Now, when writing this book, I understand that a lot of writers come across a lot of difficulties or challenges. Did you come across any difficulties or challenges? Yeah, I did because I really didn't feel like I was, uh, um, I guess I can say, I didn't feel like um, that, that I was able to do this, but God walked me through every step of this book, every word. Um, I didn't. I, I, I knew that this could be nobody but God that gave me uh, the words of this book and it's just uh, inspiration. It's not for just one person, it's for all. Mm -hmm. Men, women, boys and girls. Now speaking of this book, there are several different chapters. Can you recall a favorite chapter of yours? Um, out of this book, there's a chapter that I like uh, that's titled, She's So Special. Mm -hmm. And it begins to break down um, what really makes a woman special. And God showed me so many things in that. And everything God showed me, I really just had to take it and just implant it in this book. Without giving anything away, mm -hmm. the chapter on divine permission. Can you give us a little taste? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. You know, um, in divine permission, divine permission was just so, it, this, this really did so much for me because God showed me so much right here. And I'm gonna give just a little bit of this. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when, 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 when God created man and he had put Adam to sleep and he had taken the rib out of Adam and he formed and made a woman. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that he brought the woman to the man. Mm -hmm. And when Adam saw her, Adam said, this is now bone of my bone flesh of my flesh she shall be called woman because she was taken out of man 
And at that moment, I realized and God showed me the reason he was able to receive her is because he had the divine permission of God. Because God brought her to him to receive. And that was the last thing God made and the first thing God gave away. Hmm. Speaking of giving away, yeah. um, there was a chapter where you talked about you having to give away a co-worker of yours. Do you care to talk about that chapter? You know, God allowed me to experience something when I was younger, mm -hmm. uh, even before I had kids of my own. Um, and, and in the book, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you about this, this experience that I had um, with a really good friend of mine. Uh, God allowed me to understand what it would be like to be a father before mm -hmm. I ever became a father. Mm -hmm. he, um, he allowed me to understand the weight that a father carries uh, when, when, when raising daughters and, and all the way up to the point of, of, of giving them away. Mm -hmm. God, he allowed me to experience that long before I had my own. And I can't do nothing but thank God for that because yeah. I tell you, uh, and, and just to give a little cookie away on that, <laughs> uh, my friend who I gave away, they are still married, happily married today. And um, beautiful family, beautiful family. And I just thank God for the experiences that he's given me. Okay. Uh, protector at all costs is, is, it's been life changing because this is not something that I thought of. This is something that God really revealed to mm -hmm. me. Uh, he revealed a lot to me in his book. Right. Now, I want to ask you another question. Uh -huh. The cover of your book, the art design, would you care to share with us what each object inside of this artwork represents? Well, I'll tell you, um, in looking at this book, the artwork, the shield, mm -hmm. when you really see it, um, it represents the protection, the sword, uh, represents protection, also the word. When you see uh, the people in the background, represents clicks. These are things that whether you're young or old. And um, when you really look at the man and who he's protecting uh, on the cover and what he's protecting, the main thing is we all have to have something bigger than ourselves. Mm -hmm. It is more to this world and us than just us. I didn't create me. I have a creator. Right. And... The word for me as a Christian, I believe, is my foundation. And this is what I use to uphold everybody in my life. Is that word? Right. Yeah, yeah. So this the, is so much more in that cover that mm -hmm. I could talk about. But every time I see it, it gives me strength. Right. It gives me strength. Um, and it lets me know my position. As, as as a protector. So each picture represents something on having protection. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, I'll, I'll use one in particular. You'll see a, a, a thethoscope on, mm -hmm. on the book. Mm -hmm. And that really for me represents um, where a doctor may give a, he may give a diagnose. Right. But God, God gives the prognosis. Mm -hmm. um, just because the doctor gave a diagnosis does not mean that it's death. When God says all sickness is not death. Um, and you have to be able to infiltrate the word of God and allow God to speak to your spirit and your soul. And you have to be able to feed somebody else. Mm -hmm. For the Bible says that Man shall not live by bread alone, right, right. but every word that proceedeth mm -hmm. out of the mouth of God. Right. And, you know, those are the kind of things that, you know, you can reach back and sometimes get a visual or, or get a word in here and not only strengthen yourself, but mm -hmm. strengthen somebody else. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So it's 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 really been good. Yeah. It's really been good. And um, I guess if I was to say anything else, um, I believe and know to the fact that uh, everything that God has ever did, it has always been good. Always. Always been always good. Always good. And this is no exception. Mm -hmm. This is not something that I did. This is something that God just downloaded in me to download into this. So we can put this in the earth so somebody else can get it. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So it's, it's, yeah. It's been good. Okay. When writing this book, sometimes there are difficulties and challenges. Did you face any difficulties or challenges while writing this book? Yeah, I did. I did. Um, one of the challenges that I had when writing this book was um, really just staying focused on that thing because I, I feel like I came up under so many attacks of the enemy mm -hmm. because God had gave me something and when I would go to to write or read uh, I felt like it was just several different kind of attacks just coming like you know what this ain't gonna be nothing and 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 that ain't right and mm -hmm. just 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 things mm -hmm. yeah it was a tax came writing this book now even though that you had a tax writing this particular book do you mm -hmm. think you'll do a follow-up absolutely mm -hmm. absolutely um, I think that from this book will derive uh, a lot more information because God right. is still downloading in me just from this book mm -hmm. and and it's gonna help People. I believe that anything that will help people, uh, it's going to be so beneficial to that. You can't help but to get it and pass it on. Right, right. So where can I find this book? Uh, it's been featured on Amazon and also um, uh, Borders. Mm -hmm. And I also have a couple of copies of myself. Okay. All right. Well, thank you, uh, Minister Drummond, for stopping by. News people should know. Um, we appreciate you for coming through, and we would love to have you come through again. Absolutely. Absolutely.